Uh, here's some more. Who are they? Phantom Boogeymen? The United States is a corporate oligarchy. They created these false monsters so that the United States would seem to have a legitimate position. According to Sink, the queen is just war theory. You have no legitimate reason to go to war in Iraq. And you can get in. That code is war theory. Go fuck yourself. I need a fucking theory to give me a right to go to war, you fucking douche. Ah, ah, ah. So I wrote that he doesn't believe in justice, and he goes, Does your concept of justice and liberty only include affluent Anglo-Saxons? I don't know. Does your idea of justice exclude Anglo-Saxons? Do you hate white people so much? This is me continuing to write to him. LOL, LOL, LOL. Do you know how to make a fucking point without sounding like a douche? Stop typing LOL, you child. You're blinded by your hatred for justice, your hatred for America, and your hatred for liberty. Your hatred for white Republicans. And he writes back, Maltaz Tung, because I'm not blinded by unfounded patriotism, because I'm rational, LOL! Remember, this was the rational human being who somehow rationalizes terrorist acts, considers them as boogeymen, hates the capitalist system, thinks that competition is unfair and cruel, and also, as by the way, told Copper B, excuse me, Copper B, that individualism is overrated. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Individualism is overrated. We don't need it. All right, here he goes again. You are wrong, quotes me. How can I prove this to be true? Listen to yourself. You cannot debate. This is a guy who talks about debate when he demands that you concede to him before he continues to talk to you. This is a man who thinks that he somehow has a right to debate you on any level and shouldn't be told immediately to fuck off and catch a fucking chainsaw between his fucking eyeballs when he demands consent and concede. And he demands that you fucking surrender. This motherfucker is going to argue with you about debate. Can you believe this fucking fascist shitbag blackmailing shithead? Uh, you cannot debate for you have nothing to debate with. Only rhetoric and fear and anger. That's it. That's right. I have no proof. Uh, the Islamic, you know, the, the Crusades wasn't an answer in defense of, you know, Islamic tyranny, which was making its way across Europe about to take over the world. I just made that up. You know, I could make up huge parts of history by myself if I so choose. You are not such so much an individual as you are a functioning arm to a system. Have you thought an original thought, my friend? No, you're still plugged into the Matrix. Uh -huh, like this guy has ever thought for himself. Why don't you go read some more Chomsky, you cunt? This guy fears the United States more than he fears radical Islam. Why don't you go live in an Islamic country? Seriously, go there. Uh, da -da -da, I have no idea how to read this in order. I'm more afraid of the USA than I am of radical Islam. These guys have no bloody hard soft power. The only country to use nuclear chemical weapons of mass destruction is telling me who good and evil is. LOL! You would die if you lived in Iran. You would fucking die. They would cut off your fingers if you fucking smoked, if you had sex outside of marriage. They, do I have to go into the evils of Iran? Uh, you're, they have parents there who kill their daughters for honor killings because they've been raped. They, Iran is a horrible, horrible awful country. I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with you, but you would rather live in Iran than the United States. You know what? I wish you did live in Iran. I wish that you and everybody else like you ended up living in Iran and ended up hung on a fucking doorpost. Because that's what they do with people who disagree. Only in this country can you disagree with people like this the way you do. Only because men and women have fought for your fucking rights can you be able to say what you can not say when you want to say it. You can't do that in Iran. If you think that they are so not a threat, that the United States is so evil, and that we are corrupt, and that we create boogeymen, and that capitalism is ruthless, and that we're all just monsters and horrible, horrible individualists, while Islam has a legitimate uh, reason for going to war with the West, because ten gazillion years ago, they claimed that they were invaded by the Crusades, when actually they were being defeated by the Crusades because of their offensive maneuvers, if they are so right, why don't you strap a bomb onto your stomach and kill yourself? Do the world a favor and just kill yourself. Nobody cares about you. Just die. <clears throat> Claims that we are the only country to have ever used nuclear weapons. Ah, uh, no. Saddam Hussein used uh, chemical weapons against the Kurds. Which you, when I pointed that out to you, you never went back and said, Oh yeah, I was wrong. We are not the only country to use uh, chemical weapons. Um, Saddam Hussein used it as well. Yes, we used nukes to end World War II. Are you comparing that to Saddam Hussein gassing the Kurds? The threat to the entire world stares you in the face. We want to, to be in the blame America first crowd. 
Why don't you live in a Muslim country if you're not afraid of radical Islam? Because you know, you know, that here in the United States, due to the men and women who have died for your freedom, you have the right to publicly criticize this country. Try doing that in Iran. Mm, onward and onward he goes on with the He dropped a ball in Afghanistan and Osama bin Laden raised yeah, As if the death of one man is the end of Al-Qaeda and is the end of the terrorist threat. Uh, because once Osama is found, is a threat of radical Islam over? We admit the threat of radical Islam are in places other than Afghanistan. I have another question for you. When will you start bashing the war in Afghanistan? Or is that not politically viable for you enough yet? When does your attack on the war in Iraq Move over to the war in Afghanistan. What is your problems with the war in Afghanistan? And why do you hate the United States? Onward and forward. And we want to kill them. They must have started it, right? Um, yes, yes they did. Because I, I don't remember any acts that we committed um, that would make them cause 9-11. Now, although they claim that is because we have... Uh, uh, soldiers in Saudi Arabia, number one, doesn't give them the right to uh, attack civilian targets with suicide bombers. Uh, because uh, once they do that, then their complaint, and I don't want to hear they have no other option, goes out the fucking window. Because once you use terrorism as a tool, then whatever your point is doesn't matter anymore. Because you have proven yourself to be a savage, and uh, whatever your complaint happens to be, you obviously have proven that you do not deserve to exist on this land. So... On, on this planet, and we will destroy him. Uh, if you see Raymond Ibrahim's book, he works for the Library of Congress. He has translated some of Bin Laden's writings and communicates from sites like Al Jazeera and other jihadi websites. He has concluded that all the messages are one and the same. Uh, that Al Qaeda's war against the West is to them a defensive war for a plethora of reasons, none of which have anything to do with us on Saudi land or the support of Israel or uh, some kind of weird socialist, the poltered and the fucking and the bourgeoisie, or none of that. They are at war with us because in retaliation for what they see as a great offense, us not bowing to Islam. Texts that were never translated have now come to light. In the book, The Al-Qaeda Reader, by the author named Raymond Ibrahim, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, second word, I-B-R-A-H-I-M, 150 out of the 200 essays aren't even in their words. They are the words of the Prophet Muhammad, the Quran, and the Hadith. They seek war with the West at anyone who is not Islam, anyone who does not live under Shia law. That is why they attacked us. Yes, because we are free, because we do not live under Shia law, this is the reason they attacked us. Not because Saudi Arabia and Israel, and no, they are at war with the West. Now, if you don't want to believe that, and if you want to live with your head in the ground, as a 35-year-old who lives in his fucking parents' basement, you go do so. I hope a dog eats your fucking face. And you would be the same if the same positions were reversed. Really? I would go and start attacking uh, fucking children, women and children, making them targets? Yeah, I would go, hmm, there's a Muslim child, let me kill them. Muslims do not like some of the things we do, that's true. Like progress, a systemization of our labor forces that progresses relativism to the lowest common denominator or human being. Now this is some kind of fucking socialist bullshit that he wants to believe that is the reason that, that we are being attacked. And that happens to be a fucking lie. It is complete horseshit. Socialists want to believe that all the world's ills is due to the capitalists, as opposed to the vicious, savage, uh, beheading, uh, rapist, fucking savage, Islamic radicals. It is somehow not their fault. It is somehow not them committing actions or that somehow they have a right or somehow that they have a cause that is worthy of even discussion. And I respond, no, you actually read what they say. It's because we are infidels. Their claims of us being on Saudi land is the issue they have brought to the table through death is completely nullified when you translate the rest of Al-Qaeda videos. All that is not Islam must be destroyed. Their words, not mine. I refuse to be destroyed. You can stand by it if you like. 